This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good afternoon, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for October 15, 2023. And in the news this afternoon, massive fire at the shoes market in St. James. There was a massive fire at the shoes market in Montego Bay, St. James on Sunday morning. The blaze was noticed at just about 2 a.m. and the firefighters alerted. A number of shops with merchandise have been damaged extensively. Firefighters said they prevented the fire from spreading and up to 5 a.m. were working to bring it under control. Travel host no longer recommending crop circle after viral video. American travel host David Hoffman says he is no longer recommending the crab circle in Kingston as a destination for food, following the viral video of a vendor relieving herself at one of the stalls at the popular eatery. Hoffman operates the popular David's Been Here YouTube channel, which sees the host travel to different food spots across the world and engage in the local cuisine. He recently visited Jamaica and filmed an entire video series of eateries in the island, including Crab Circle, where he was served the crabs by the vendor at the center of the controversial incident, which resulted in the facility being shuttered by health authorities. Noting that he takes his recommendations seriously, Hoffman addressed the Crab Circle controversy in a recent video posted on his channel. At the moment, I am not recommending that destination. I hope they get the facilities they need for that place to be better, Hoffman, whose channel has more than 1.2 million subscribers, said. He added, however, let's not make the action of a few people ruin a destination. Kingston is beautiful, Jamaica is amazing, the food there will blow your mind. After closing Crab Circle, the health department commenced the sanitation work on the stalls at the facility located at the National Hero Circle. Additionally, the health authorities instructed that a portable toilet be installed and that the vendors acquire food handlers' permits before the facility is reopened. Curfew in Arnett Gardens, Kingston West, after Don killed. A 48 hour curfew has been imposed in sections of Arnett Gardens, Top Jungle, Hopal Village, and the sections of Torrington Park in the Kingston West Police Division. The curfew began at 8 a.m. on Sunday, October 15, and will remain in effect until 8 p.m. on Tuesday, October 17. The security measure follows Saturday evening's killing of a man who residents say is a don from the top jungle section of the community. The Mani Taylor, otherwise called Hochipang, was shot dead in a section of the community known as a Baka Wall. The boundaries of the curfew are North along an imaginary line from the roundabout, vicinity the tanker to Studio One Boulevard, vicinity L.S. Duhaney and the Company Limited. East along Sliper Pen Road from L.S. Duhaney and the Company Limited to the Torrington Bridge. South along an imaginary line from the Torrington Bridge to the intersection of 8th Street and Coley Smith Drive. West along Coley Smith Drive from the intersection of 8th Street and Coley Smith Drive to the roundabout vicinity of the tank. During the hours of the curfew, all persons within its boundaries are required to remain within their premises for 48 hours unless otherwise authorized by the ground commander. Gone found in abandoned house in Westmoreland. Members of the Westmoreland Proactive Investigations Unit on Saturday seized an illegal gun in an abandoned house during a raid in Hartford District. The police report that about 5.30 p.m., cops went to the property in search of guns and wanted men. They said the .380 pistol containing an empty magazine was discovered in the one-room dwelling. No one was arrested in connection with the find. Investigations continue. Family and the friends mourn soldier killed in three-vehicle crash in St. Anne. Tribute to continue to flow after a Jamaica Defense Force soldier died from injuries he sustained in a three-vehicle bang-up along the Richmond Main Road in St. Anne on Friday. The deceased is 24-year-old Private Siobhan Allen of Standfast in Brownstown, St. Anne. Police reports are that about 9.35 p.m., Allen was driving his Toyota Fielder motor car along the Richmond Main Road heading towards a prairie. On reaching in the vicinity of Plantation Smokehouse Restaurant, the soldier's vehicle and a Toyota Axio motor car 
which was heading in the same direction, collided with a motor truck laden with a cement that was being driven in the opposite direction. All three drivers were taken to the hospital where Alin succumbed to his injuries and the other two drivers were admitted in stable conditions. The JDF in a statement on Saturday afternoon expressed the sadness at Alin's passing and offered condolences to his family, friends and other loved ones. The army said it will continue to support Alin's loved ones as they grieve his death. Meanwhile, social media users who remembered Alin expressed their condolences to his family. Relatives also expressed a shock at the soldiers are passing. Wake up dog, tell me a joke this cause, a relative wrote on Facebook. SIP cause, I'm really sad to know you leave like this, said another relative. SIP bro, God youth, ambitious youth, hurts to be writing about your passing, Jano, posted a man on Facebook. American businessman dies at the St. Anne Hotel, comes await autopsy report. The St. Anne police are awaiting the results of a post-mortem examination to determine the cause of death of an American businessman at a hotel in Maumee Bay near Otorius in the parish on Friday night. The deceased is 28-year-old Chase Bracken of Hicks Road, Zanesville in Ohio, United States. Reports are that Bracken's body was found in a pool of blood on the grounds of the hotel at about 9.55 p.m. on Friday. Moments before, the American was reportedly observed having a beer on the balcony of the hotel. Another guest reportedly went to make a checks on Bracken and found him lying on the ground floor. An alarm was raised and the police were contacted. The body was moved to the morgue for a post-mortem examination to be conducted at a later date. The police are probing the development. Council calls for NSWMA leadership shake-up over garbage pile-up. Two councillors in the St. Catherine Municipal Corporation are bemoaning the poor state of garbage collection across the parish and one of them has called for a shake-up in the leadership of the National Solid Waste Management Authority. And though NSWMA parish manager for St. Catherine, Nigel Gooden, told Thursday's SCMC meeting that the current rainfall is delaying garbage collection efforts in the parish, it was not enough to soothe the discontent of the councillors regarding the issue. For People's National Party councillor for the Treadways Division, Sydney Rose, who chairs the SCMC's Health and the Sanitation Committee, the current NSWMA Executive Director, Audley Gooden, must be removed over the garbage pileup issues in the parish. We are fully aware that the operational failure, which resulted in a backlog, is as a result of bad management, declared Rose. Mr. Gordon simply cannot manage and he must be replaced, he insisted. While Councillor for the Waterford Division, the PNP's Finlay Douglas, did not go so far in making a similar call, he said his division was also affected by uncollected garbage. He claimed that more affluent communities have had their garbage collected properly, hence the residents there were not affected by the situation that is facing many areas. These problems relative to garbage collection don't happen there in affluent communities. It is as if we are having two Jamaicas, Douglas asserted. Meanwhile, Gooden told the meeting that he was aware that there were 71 loads of uncollected garbage in the parish as at Thursday. He said the delay in collections was because of the constant rains throughout, which resulted in greater challenges even at the landfill. Gooden assured that the NSWMA is working to address those issues to ensure that the garbage situation is properly addressed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.